Okay, I'm doing a reply to Marchmer81. Link below. Please subscribe to him. He does a lot of really good videos. I enjoy him. He's definitely better than me in a lot of this stuff, so you should check him out. He just did a video on the resurrection of Jesus, replying to someone else. And the video was discussing, you know, this claim about, you know, explain how Jesus rose from the dead. You know, explain how, explain how it could happen, and these kind of things. And, you know, first, of course, he points out a lot of good points, and big things are, we don't know he resurrected, we don't know what happened. People in the past have appeared to rise from the dead when they weren't completely dead, it happens a lot. Especially when people didn't have the medicine or ability to really check for really faint pulses. Now, there's a few other things I want to point out on this. And, you know, the first point is more speculative, but it's an interesting thing, which is you know, what was used on Jesus when he was buried? There was various oils that were used to anoint the body. Now, there's an oddity about these things that they are used to preserve bodies and facilitate healing and other things. Now, one might argue they were trying to preserve the corpse, you know, like we do with embalming fluids and whatnot. Except in first century Jerusalem and Judaism and whatnot, due to the climate and whatnot, bodies were left in tombs to rot for about a year. After a year, they would be boxed up and put in an ossuary. So, using stuff that helps heal wounds and preserve bodies is kind of counter productive to that. It seemed like they were trying to do something to Jesus. Maybe he wasn't dead. If you remember in one of the books, they use, what was it, vinegar or wine? I'm trying to remember, right before Jesus dies. Like, the sponge just touched to his lips and he dies immediately afterwards. Kind of like he was drugged or something. Now, this is highly speculative, but it's an interesting point that, you know, kind of questions, you know, what exactly was going on there. Now, the bigger point is, though, I think this has more warrant to it. Jesus was, you know, not heavily known um, leader back then, you know, cult leader. You know, the Jews got kind of pissed off about him. But how much would the Romans really have cared? You know, let's say the Romans heard stories of Jesus being alive. Would How much would they actually have cared to go back and check the tomb? Like, to be regularly check every time some guy was claimed to be alive and check the tomb? You know, this is assuming Jesus wasn't resurrected. You know, and the question I get is, well, if Jesus didn't resurrect, why didn't the Romans prove it? Well, you're assuming they would care to. That they would have given a second thought to this story of Jesus being raised from the dead. I mean, how often do we have, nowadays, do we check the, outside of movies, do we check the, the um, coffins and burial places of serial killers or or cult leaders like you know if, if Jonestown and other places you know would they have got followers saying that he was alive people were like would they go back and just check the corpse or would they just assume these guys were were making it up and that's sort of the point also how long after Jesus was buried would the Romans have found out in that climate, bodies decay can decay pretty quickly at different times. So, the body wouldn't necessarily have 
being recognizable, even if they had. He so started pointing out this body, and he said, that's not Jesus, that's some guy the Romans used to make up. I mean, people do this all the time. So what evidence is there actually that the Romans either would have cared, or the, the disciples or whatnot would have even thought about it? Like, again, how long ago after Jesus' death were these rumors? The story says it was almost immediately. But, you know, we don't know the timeline. So these are just a few thoughts I have. It doesn't disprove it, but it does sort of give reasons for why, you know, how Jesus could have supposedly raised from the dead. You know, why didn't people check? You know, so comment below, let me know your thoughts, and once again, subscribe to Marjorie Murder 81.